Hey folks, it's Mobile Ranger back in the saddle. Uh, it's now finally the upcoming events in March. So we're gonna be able, you know, we're gonna see what's coming up. So, howdy, partner. Uh, as we discussed, the roadmap of Mayhem will be changing our event pace and we'll give you more time to not only unlock but to max new characters. Oh, okay, max two weeks parent is nice. So, we're this season, here's the full map. His full calendar eventually up to start seasons help you prepare. So yeah, so there's a current event, there's a community event, and then there's the St. Patrick's Day event. Uh, and then there's, you know, the new warrior team. Ooh, hang on, rework. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So we'll never, what's this, we can never forget about the community fan vote event. Which with all the changes that have made, never made it to the final calendar. To make it up to you, how will a surprise be a week-long event featuring your entire team vote not selected by the community fan. Uh, yeah, and then four team and samurai and shooter stuck in a dragon bar, I think. Because I don't really have those up a ton. That's nice. Plus, I have a very good LeBron, so being able to bump up the shooter. Which I assume would also include a Duncan Daffy. If you're Coach Daffy alongside him, then that'd be very cool. And as an extra bonus, Petunia and Lola gear. So that is nice. So a 2022 initiative to bring our old tunes into the modern era kicks off Petunia and Lola. I have never seen them basically ever. Uh, Citizens is pretty much not a theme. So that's pretty cool. I don't know whether there's Two of them, maybe they're opening up the team variety. Or they're sort of more plug and play. So, a black ticket will reward some teams from all nine teams featured in the community vote. Extra chapter challenge unlocks on day five of bonus tuning materials from other events. Look out for the midweek patch notes for more details on the rework team on Friday for the event. Okay. So, the first chance to experience the Weeks, so the bunny of hair. First chance to experience the two week format uh, alongside with the coming battle pass featuring new tunes, bunny of hair to celebrate the spirit of St. Patrick's. So, a two week legendary event will be pretty cool because, uh, <laughs> I mean, it could be pretty cool depending on how involved the actual event is, but we'll, we'll see in a second how cool this is, how good it can be. But, um, you will actually be able to unlock and get them up a fair bit that's put in tons and tons of cash. So, that would probably be nice. So, Legendary Attack, you're joining the holiday theme. So, okay, it's more of a... I mean, you kind of removed a lot of the holiday tunes. So, I don't know who else can be there except Rocket Tune. But I feel like they probably want to use it. So, he's extremely adept at buffing any team up. Which is nice, so it seems like ooh, equally theme agnostic leadership skill. So he's a plug and play too. Interesting. Uh, so featured, still not a lot of featured tunes. That is. Oh, PTLs are saying, okay. Give me a second. So, interesting. So there's still only six featured tunes. That. Feel like it'd be kind of a problem. Two weeks, you'd only be able to end up a very specific amount of tunes. Why you get lost? But like, it's basically just a theme. It's Fiends and Rocket Sylvester. Like, why not include some of the other holiday themed teams? Like, um, you know, maybe have the Heartthrob tunes. Maybe have the Holiday tunes. Maybe, well, I guess we would have just each other. But you can throw them back in there. I don't see no reason why you can't run the same team two weeks in a row. Or three weeks in a row, technically, because it's a two week event. But you get my point. Uh, so this is the season. To reiterate, make seasons two plus better. Okay, I get that the events take time to plan. But this is seasons are double length. You can't make a change in two months to any upcoming event at all. 
guess technically Path of Legendaries are never D confirmed. But it's nice to know they're still going to be around. I know they said they were phased out somewhere. Okay, so eleven PTL can. All this rotation starts. As about the way, it's gonna be in chronological. No, it's not in chronological order. Brothers of Bastion. No, Brothers of Brave was in first. Heavy Hoppers first. It's kind of a random order, but hey, at least all my time grinding Lester Junior and Desperado Dog hasn't gone to waste. So that's nice. Oh, the midweek fashions. We can see those soon, honestly. Because presumably before the event on Friday. <clears throat> so. We can see those like Wednesday. We can see those like tomorrow. Even. Okay, so new PTL rotation. Bucks the Brave, Quarterback, Ronin Canasta, Dread Pirate, Monster Tweety, Evil Granny, uh, Super Rabbit, Hippity Hopper, Space Pharaoh, S SPM, Ugh. Wait, that's literally not the tune's name. Hang on, hang on. Now I get technically there's no community manager, so there's no one to proofread. But because like, the person, you know, I think it's just one of the main devs writing these now currently until they get a new one. Presumably, hopefully, they can get an actual dedicated community manager to this game. Because uh, I'm pretty sure like the doc, uh, the most recent one like split like he was also the walking dead game community manager like scopely's walking dead game uh so he kind of couldn't like he was a little inactive here uh but space pharaoh Marvin, like come on it's star it's star Fair. that's why it's thrown off Plus, they, that doesn't sound right it's because it's not right but whatever it was a secret new tune space pharaoh Marvin. i don't know it was, and a KD and a new week. Okay. The new PTO campaigns will be introduced every four months with proper announcements and fanfare. Uh, yeah, I mean, presumably new tunes will be sourced somewhat okay. And they're just running for a full week now, which is good, because for some reason they always, they, like, the way they had them before, they'd run for three days every other week. It was just really confusing. But this works okay, I mean, you might want, like, the find exchanges to be a little better before you do that. I still feel there's room for improvement, but a consistent schedule... I'm assuming any new PTLs will just be slotted right in. Speaking of what, I want to see there was one of these. I think quarterback. Man, so quarterback was that long ago. So I'm glad we have proper schedules. So they're going to be announced. Presumably, you're going to have some themed events. They said fanfare. So I'm assuming there's going to be something related to new PTLs. Uh, oh yeah, it's cool. So I was glad to see that those are sticking around. Um, I have to say, I mean, it's a hard road day, I guess. I was thinking that a week might be a little bit of a long rotation, especially if they're adding more. Because it's, like, if they have one more PTL, and they're only ran through run through each time every other month. Like essentially like 
with the twelfth one. The full cycle is completed. Twelve weeks in. Um, so it's like every three months the cycle completes. So like at that point you're basically you get to a point like once you get to sixteen, by the time you get to the end, you're adding another one in. Like you're adding another PTL at the end of the cycle. Unless they're interspersed in them, but I feel like that's screw up the schedule. Um, but yeah. PTO teams are widely farmable. I mean, I guess with the fine bunny, blah blah blah. So it's just, you know, most of them. Okay, to be fair, most of them are sourced. They're just not sourced in an especially high amount. Uh, and then recently released PTL will continually will continue featuring. Exclusive teams, which admittedly, you know, the feeder team's not going to change because that's kind of how PTLs work. But that is, especially with the an 11 week rotation system, it's a bit unfair, wouldn't you say? Especially in like not sourcing, like it says, it's not going to be PTL quests or wheels or like feeder events. I mean, I guess they could be. Uh, they didn't really bring them up, so yeah, that's all I had to say. So that's about it. Um, community fan vote seems nice. I was wondering why those tunes are there. I was like, six and get featured, right? Like, that's messed up. But no, people are, people are not that dumb. Uh, I don't know why they highlighted Lonely Ralph. I feel like the legendary is probably what you should go for. Did they just forget which tune was the legendary? Whatever, I'm not. That's fine. I don't see. I actually know. Yeah, obviously. I'm going to stream this on Friday, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it'll be nice hearing new works, on new tunes, through one of ones. Because they can keep this pace up, like, about every season or whatever, they redo some themes. That'll be nice. Not start every season, because that's only every two months. Yeah, honestly, like, if they put reworked old tunes next, like, alongside... The season tunes. I can be I can be a fan of that. I can get down with it. I still don't know what Mega Chungus means. Like, I guess that's the legendary. Uh, they still don't really explain. Like, this doesn't really explain what the event is. Is like, like obviously, like, say this event blows, and you know we have to do it for two weeks. Two weeks of a bad event. Um, aside from that, obviously being a problem. I just realized I'm not getting less prehistoric. Well, that's not a battle pass, the like battle pass thing, like the tombs and the events. But I feel like that would make sense. Like catering the battle passes to the seasons? Sure. In theory, they could kept the same time frame and just like. And just so you know, like, if it's just featuring two tombs. I feel like it's that complicated, but whatever. Like, functionally identical, I guess. Well, the same price, apparently. So, we get, I guess we get a bunny O'Hare battle pass, right? Question mark. Yeah, along with this accompanying battle pass, I guess we won't know. But, I didn't explain it. But 
That seems like a good tune to go for. I feel let's see his kit proper. But assuming he can be in a general like neutral attacker. Fine by me. I guess. Yeah, that's about it. I I hope we'll be getting event post. I know you have patch notes coming. Because um, admittedly, this is a tell us a lot. Like, I figured since, you know, I mean, I guess this is a whole month of March delay. But I figured, well, we're having two week events. They'd probably explain a little more. Oh, this really doesn't <laughs> announce much of anything. Like, admittedly, they had, like, before they had, like, four times the amount of events, and they included PTLs, which were on random. I was assuming they were picked randomly. Because now there's a consistent PTL rotation. Uh, Starting to reach America first. So we're currently doing both frames, I think. Does that mean April first? I'm really confused. It's March eighth. Does that mean April first? Or is this currently happening? Because in theory, shouldn't the quarterback? LP today? Question mark for eight. I guess I could just look at the game. Oh. But yeah. I was probably running on a little bit. Eh, not so much. But, yeah, we gotta properly discuss this. It's, it's a big change. It was like half the patch notes. It was half the road back the last time. So. It's kind of important. There's a lot of fine details. We don't really know. So like, it's two two weeks, two weeks, and you're featuring seven two. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's not too insistent. The event seems to be in part making me mildly upset. Like, just just but I just literally put tunes in. You put exchanges in the event store. It's not that hard to put. You allow them, I, I figured there's like, they have a system in place that determines what a feature tune of an event is. That you sort of plug in in any given event. So just put more of them in. Especially for two weeks. And these are the only feature tunes for two weeks. Because I, like, hold on, let me go back. The roadmap to hopefully explain a little bit more. I think this is the easiest one to start. So, blah 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 blah. New tournament, yeah. It's an all new format that lasts for two weeks, progress much farther. Events cover their own battle pass, which are simply for the tunes. Yeah, so each event will have multiple components. Quests, so campaigns, quest tournaments starting on different days. So you don't give more stuff. So I'm presuming. Uh, that's not presuming, I'm assuming. I'm making more of the same decision. They've taken play, hey, just mob and warrior. I guess I've actually seen three or four. I mean, I've already seen Roman Legion Sam at uh, Whoopsie Doopsies on that one development team. He got leaked like three times. You make a reasonable assumption on what Angelus Maximus looks like. And then that is obviously Bravehorn. So I guess we haven't seen Omega Chunkus. That is a fair point.
So yeah. It's been non specific, but hey, maybe that comes a little bit after the uh we get the actual event blog post which as I said feels a little redundant. With how empty the schedules will be, because we're getting technically two events a month. So, you know, maybe, maybe lead us on a little more. Well, yeah, uh, you know, it's big changes for the game. Hopefully, they'll be good. But, uh, you know, that's gonna be all, folks. Mobile Rage out.